Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is our weekly rundown of updates, events, and beautiful stuff happening within the Blender community, Blender Foundation, and also Blender as an app. And this week, we have a couple of cool things. First off, Blender 2.93, the alpha, is officially here. So if you go over to the experimental branch, you'd actually see that the folks at Blender released three different versions of Blender on the very same day. And this is, uh, this is like one of the first times that this is happening. As we're getting Blender 2.92.0, the beta version available, we're also seeing that 2.93, the alpha, is kicking off. And this is beautiful. On the other hand, when you take a look right here, you'd also notice that we have 2.91.1. Now, this is also the alpha for the LTS release. And just in case you have no idea, the LTS is actually something that the folks at Blender Foundation are working on. But before we actually look at that, I want you guys to also see that Blender is getting bigger and better in the size section. So right now you also notice that the 2.91 has about 196 and you can see that the size actually increases as it proceeds. So it simply means that there's some extra features that have been added to these versions. So simply keep an eye open for those. Going over to the LTS, you would see that everything is working according to plan. So the LTS actually states here that in 2020, we're going to get Blender 2.9 and also 2.91. And in 2022, within the first quarter, we are seeing that we have Blender 2.92. Now we will also be getting 2.93 in the second quarter, 3.0 in the third, and also 3.1. And, you know, the whole LTS release is going to span all the way from here down to 2023. So with this said, let's take a look at some things that have now been added to the Blender 2.91.1 alpha. So if we go over to this page, which I'm going to link in the description, you would see that the potential candidates for corrective release are now here. So for Blender 2.91.1, so just in case you're asking what the updates these are the updates a couple of updates are here and these are a lot and for those who have things like wireframe issues maybe they're not displaying due to the fact that you're using an amd graphic card or you have some related issues in terms of collision and crashing just in case you're playing with your simulation or maybe you're having some issues with redoing and crashings and stuff like that probably this is definitely going to fix it for you and if you have bug issues you can simply update these and the folks at Blender Foundation will take a look at it. So some cool stuff are right here and also you can join the conversation and see some of the things that's going on. So if we go over to Blender 2.92 release page, you would notice that, you know, we have a lot of things going on here. We've talked about these things and we've covered a video about it. But then when you take a look at it, you would also notice that within, you know, the interface, there is no mention about the asset browser. There is also no mention about the add object. So technically this might not be coming although if you also do check the modeling section you definitely would see the app object but that is not a feature that is available with blender 2.92 at this point point. and speaking about blender 2.93 if you go over to the page right here which has to do with the release note you'll notice that some things have actually you know started kicking up so there are some features that are now within the modeling some updates are within the grease pencil and also render and cycles and taking a look at these within the modeling right now we're getting an update for transform and within the user interface you would notice that we're beginning to get some stuff in terms of operators modifiers and effects and also the user interface for that of cycles there's literally nothing there i guess maybe there's going to be an update but right now there's nothing here but nonetheless there's still a lot of time for the folks at blender foundation to put some things together as this version is supposed to be released sometime in May. I guess 26th of May is when this is supposed to be out. And you know, from now till May is a lot of time as they have to improve, stabilize, and also do some bug fixes and do a first pre-release and then a final release of this tool. And furthermore, there are some very cool features which we are crossing our fingers to see that will come over to Blender 2.93. But with that said, let's take a look at some of the updates that is now available in Blender 2.92 and also take a look at some UI changes that we sort of noticed within the time we downloaded all three versions of Blender that is currently available within the Blender experimental page. Blender 2.91.1 actually has no update, okay? There is literally no update except for the bug fixes. So we're going to dive over to Blender 2.92 and see some stuff so the first thing which you would notice is we have a very clean splash screen 
and then there is uh, something about the ui that is uh, missing so if you take a look at the previous video which we talked about you would notice that the add object icon is no longer there and also if you're working and also if you're working with asset browser the asset browser is now gone all right but nonetheless we're also going to take a look at some of the updates and cool stuff that is available here in blender 2.92 especially for the ui there's some stuff with the ui that you guys need to know about and if we go over to blender 2.93 the alpha you would also notice that you know there's technically nothing new let's increase the font size so that you guys can see that and we're just going to set this to 0 0.25 okay 0 0.25 looks good and for those who are looking for the asset browser if you download the build which is available today you will not be able to see that so subsequently i believe this is going to be updated with some of the experimental features and cool features that we we'll like to work with so asset browser is not available and also the add object seems not to be here so probably this might be coming in subsequent you know releases or might come with blender 2.93 hopefully let's see what the future holds so with this said let's dive back into blender 2.92 right now and take a look at some of the features that happened within the weekend there are some stuff which you are not going to see but then there are some stuff that is available so one of the features which you would notice is if you look right here there is a pop over button now this button is for you to be able to sync whatever you're doing with your viewport or within your property section alongside with the outliner now how this works is very simple so to explain this i'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of clicking so if i click right here so the folks at blender foundation have already defined this earlier that if you click right here you go over to the transform values click right here transform transform so you can see the transform values of whatever objects you're selecting within the outliner by just simply clicking either the text or the icon by the left hand side now if you click on the icon on the right hand side it takes you over to the properties all right not the transform properties but the properties properties of the object so if i click right here it takes me over to the camera properties light properties and also it takes me over to you know the cube properties you know you get the idea so this way it gets to work like so but then if we click on this button you notice that we have auto turned on if i would like to get this off and maybe just maybe i want to see or i just want to stay within one particular tab now i already know that you guys would be like okay there's a pinning tab for that why do you need this but how this one works is like so that once you click on this object and you go over and turn this off now what happens is no matter what you click here all this other stuff changes but no matter what you click right here so it doesn't matter what you click this still remains there so you can now move over to another one and you can do all of this stuff okay and it still remains there and you can move over to another one and you can do all of this stuff contrary to the pinning that you can just only pin one particular tab you're not pinning one tab but you're sort of telling blender to say you know whatever tab that is turned on right now don't switch it for anything in the world as far as you're selecting that with the outliner so this is a it's a very good one and i kind of like it now something else which i also like is something that they've also implemented so i'm just going to bring a couple of things let's tap g to move this one out there and do another one and bring the uv sphere let's scale that and move this right here so the folks at blender foundation have also added the feature which you might like okay so if i select this and go over to where we have the modifier click down here and go right over here and add a wireframe you guys know this okay you know this so if you've been around the channel you know this so they've added this feature before that you can click drag and drop all right and this isn't new it is not new okay so don't feel like it's new it's not so if we close this what they've actually added that makes sense actually let me you know go ahead and bring out something else which is the grid and scale this grid all the way up so what they've added that makes a lot of sense now is you know we have this modifier here if i click on this button or I click on this object sorry click on this object click on this object and finally click on this one and i would like to transfer all the modifiers that i have here over to this this and that instead of clicking and dragging making copies duplicating uh all you need to do is click right here and say copy to selected and that way you have it done very easy all right very very easy now this applies to any kind of modifier that you're working with so as far as you have this object selected one two and three and you have the last one which has the modifier you want to transfer you can just simply select all of that click on the button and then copy to select it so you can imagine how much time this is going to save you especially if you have tons of stuff you want to subdivide you can now simply select all of them go over to the object that has 
the subdivision modifier, select that object as the last one. So you could just do like one, two, select that object as the last one, and then add that subdivision modifier, that bevel modifier, and all those other cool modifiers across. Now something which also makes a lot of sense, which you know in terms of speaking about modifiers is now here, is actually not a modifier, but I will explain this to you guys. Now if you've been working with the geometry nodes previously, you would notice that there is a very tiny, small, unspoken problem that the geometry node used to have. So what is this? Or what is that problem? If you go over to geometry node right now, Previously, how this one works is, you know, you select this, you go over here, you click on this button, you add a geometry node, all right? If you don't do that, you select this and hit new. This regularly creates two nodes, all right? But right now that has been fixed. Something else which is also fixed is if you click on this part right here, go over to points, you can now notice that there is a point rotate, which now accompanies the point scale, the point separate, and also the point translate. So these are some very nice and clean cool features that are now here meanwhile pablo has worked on something that we sort of skipped so i'm just going to go ahead and share that with you guys right now so let's subdivide this by four and right click convert this to smooth shade zoom all the way in click right here click right here and apply and we might just want to add a very simple multi resolution so i'm just going to add that there and subdivide this by two as well now with this done we can now jump over and take a look at some sculpting features so by simply going over to the sculpt right now uh you would notice that nothing really looks different but if we stretch this all the way out so let's stretch this like so you would notice that we have a very nice looking button now this is the multi resolution displacement smear and for those who haven't seen this this was something that you know Pablo has been working on before and it didn't actually make it to the early release of Blender 2.92 Alpha. Previously it was there as an experimental tool but it's very interesting to see that we have this as a major tool that has an icon right now simply means it's here to stay. So for those who like to start making some sculpt and maybe you would like to use the multi-resolution smear to smear some stuff you can actually knock yourself out and start doing that. Let's drop this to one. I think maybe too is a little bit too much. So there is also a very cool feature that is right here. So we talked about this one when we were talking about the fact that Blender 2.92 was released and they had a couple of features and that had to do with the edit face set. Of course, this is pretty new because right now it does have the delete geometry, firing position and also firing tangency. So if you will go ahead and probably create some face sets. So let's go ahead and do that. Switch over to the pen and make some face sets like so, make some face sets like so. And for those who don't know, face sets are more like polygroup that you have in ZBrush. So you can also make some face sets like this. You can now use this to actually, you know, work on a specific part of your model. So this actually comes in very handy in most cases. So let's go ahead and do that. And at this point, if you would like to delete some parts and it's going to delete based off, you know, this right now, if I switch and choose to delete this, it's not going to delete because, you know, we already have a modifier that's working right here and it has to do with the multi resolution. So for that to work, we might need to, you know, close this. So let's take a look, close that off. And now if we click on this button, that should work. But regardless of that, that doesn't work. And of course, anyone who would like to work with this and maybe get the most out of it, you need to delete the modifiers that you have before you can get this one to work. And while we're looking at multi-resolution, let's subdivide this by one and jump right here. So we have this. And for those who like to, you know, sculpt, you want to do some stuff, the face set is now something that's heavily integrated into blender so at any point in time you're working on stuff you can select your face set boundary select your face set as this would simply mask that part while you're working and save you some time so if you press f on the keyboard you can increase and reduce your brush size and you can start doing stuff and you notice it meets that boundary and sort of stops okay so it gets to that boundary and it respects it and sort of stops and if we zoom right in here you can now start noticing that we have that going for us and it works for lots of stuff so all of these brushes here now have the ability to work with face sets and if you want to play with the displacement since we're using this all right so since we're using the multi-res if you like to smear some stuff you can now easily use this brush to smear this now if you're not using the multi-resolution i sort of found out that this may not work all right so in several cases this might not work so but for a situation like this since we're using you know the multi-resolution this is definitely going to work so you can smear some parts and you know work with this part and get some cool stuff 
happening for you right here now within the fluid section they've added a brand new viscosity solver to simulate thick liquids so just in case you like to make things like chocolate or maybe you want to make some sort of thick liquids these will uh, definitely be very useful and you can do so much stuff with it ev now has a couple of things and also the sequencer has a brand new store raw image in cash feature that now exists with that so this is more like it and before we go i would like to use this opportunity to also tell you guys about this add-on which is for free and we did talk about this one and i would like to see this add-on you know get better and at the same time i would also like to see you guys download it play with it and see how you can get better at working with it it's for free so you can go over to the link in the description grab this and start working with it it's called the viewport scrub timeline and for those who like to see a video about this before you know suggesting to their friends or even downloading you might want to take a look at the link in the description and follow the video and see how this works the flux at blender foundation are actually keeping to their words as they've started off with you know releasing a couple of these features and for sure one of the main things that i would like to see across all of the tools that we're coming out is stability i would like to see tons of stability come out with the tools that they're releasing this year and that's definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section link to where you're going to download this link to the add-ons link to discord link to you know all of the things we've talked about is going to be in the description so do well to check these things out and for sure if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace